Okay, to finish um, section 2.1, we're going to look at what is referred to, we talked about these in class, piecewise functions. And a piecewise function is basically a function that's defined in parts. So this function actually has three different definitions. One way to evaluate it is to take the opposite of 3x minus 12. Another way to evaluate it is to just make the answer a 4. And the other way to evaluate it is to just take whatever you're putting in and add 8. And how do you know which of these to use? Because there's three different choices you have. Well, it all depends on what value you're putting in. So for any number less, any input value less than negative 4, this is the rule you use. For any input value between negative 4 and 4, equaling negative 4 but not 4, this is what you use. And for any number greater than or equal to 4, this is what you use. So what you really determine in a piecewise function is which part you're using. So when I say find h of negative 8, the first thing we do is we look at negative 8. Negative 8 fits the top category, right? Because negative 8 is less than negative 4, so we know we're on the top tier. So I take this formula, I take negative 3 times whatever minus 12, that's the top formula, and I put in a negative 8. So I come out with 24 minus 12, so my answer is 12. Final answer. Okay? Let's try another one. h of negative 1. Negative 1 is my input. When I look up here, negative 1 less than negative 4, no. But when I look here, negative 1 is definitely between negative 4 and positive 4. So that tells me I'm on the middle tier. Anytime you're on the middle tier, your answer to the problem is 4. There's no work to do. Whenever you see an answer like this that has no x in it, that means it's constant. So h of negative 1 is 4. There's nothing to plug in. 4 is a constant answer for that middle tier. How about h of 4? Well, when I look up here, 4 is in the bottom tier because 4 is greater than or equal to 4. So the rule that I use would be x plus 8. 4 plus 8 gives me the answer 12. And h of 7. Well, 7 is in the bottom tier because 7 is greater than or equal to 4. So we take 7 and add 8 to it. And we get the answer 15. So the key to a piecewise function is just paying attention to um, where the input, which tier the input takes you to, to know which function, which definition to use to evaluate the output. And we're done.